Welcome into the Eric Kamadeka Show. I'm Joe Wamba, joined now with Eric Kamadeka, head coach of the indoor track and field teams. And, Coach, you guys go out and compete in your first meet of the season and a lot of success right off the bat, namely on the women's side, breaking a lot of school records. Yeah, it was something that we expected right off the bat, you know, with the women's team being a fairly young team for the past couple of years and the talent we brought in, breaking the records was just one of those things was going to be a natural process of lining up, doing what you were supposed to do, and the records would fall. And you guys were able to do the same feat on the men's side, too, breaking more records. Yeah, absolutely. A couple of records broken there. The men's team has been a little bit more established, so we only knocked off two. But with what we ran, you know, we're still pretty happy with that, especially with that 4 by 2 record. And as we look at the checklist of things that we mentioned in the season preview video, uh, ECAC qualifications, both on the men's and women's side, right out the gate. Yeah, that was a really nice thing for us to do as well because we weren't going out there trying to do it. Again, sometimes when you force things like that, you get too caught up in the mental aspect of it. And for the kids, it's to go out there, compete, and have that happen naturally was a, was a big bonus for us. And another huge bonus is getting some national rankings and you know the, extending that reach um, both on the men's and women's side. Yeah, that was pretty phenomenal. Devontae Williams really surprised me. You know, Coming off the football season, only getting a week off and then getting about three or four days of training to be able to do what he did was just fascinating. Uh, watching that men's 4 by 2 team run the time that they ran, that gave me goosebumps, man. That was, that was pretty exciting. And then getting some of these women to run some fast times right off the gate with Kimberly and Sierra running those sub 8.10s in the 60 was quite impressive. And Danica, you know, she kind of did what we expected in terms of putting out a solid performance from the beginning. Yeah, I wanted to talk about Danica. Uh, she's a transfer freshman you know, in her first year of eligibility, and she comes out relatively new to the sport and puts up high numbers. Yeah, this was her first actual co collegiate competitive experience, and you know there was a lot of nerves there. Everyone knows who she is on the team. All the eyes were watching, and she knows, and probably admittedly so, didn't throw as well as she wanted to. But again, strong enough performance for her to put herself in the t national top list. And out of this meet, you guys get to have everybody compete and have that experience of competing in a collegiate meet. Uh, what was the overall feeling, you know, getting back on the bus and heading back home? Uh, very exciting. You know, this was the first time where I can get on the bus and, you know, we feel really, really, really good about what we've done. Nothing, not that we don't have to work on anything, but we're making progress and everything that we have been doing to this point has been going very well for us. Well, Coach, congratulations on the first meet of the year and getting those records knocked down, checklists are being checked off, and it's an exciting time in the yeah, world of indoor yeah. track and field. Absolutely. He's Eric Kamadeka. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Eric Kamadeka Show.